Hey, welcome back to another episode. This is Dallas here, in the middle of nowhere, making a brewing stand and some potions, because that's what normal people do, right? Actually, I'm on an adventure to collect certain supplies, and I forgot to bring night vision, so here I am. Perhaps I should start the potion. <laughs> Luckily, I have all the supplies. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Luckily, I have a redstone box. You know, my emergency box here, I should start just putting potion supplies in it as well. Not all this stuff, because I never need this stuff. Well, I don't think I ever will, but it would be better to put blaze powder, glass bottles, a brewing stand, stuff like that in an emergency situation. Gunpowder. No, I just skipped the night. Ugh. Wait, why do I need gunpowder? Stupid! <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we are set. Alright, I'll leave some stuff here in case I need it in the future. Let's go. Okay, I finally found another trail ruin. So I might have to dig down 30 blocks to actually get to it because they're bugged. But in the meantime, I've done a lot of adventuring and resource gathering. I didn't record any of it because I don't want this to be an adventure episode. So this is all I got. <laughs> I found two ancient cities right next to each other, like 30 blocks apart. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of hail. Wait, what? Hay? I combined hay and bale. <laughs> and I've been mainly collecting cobweb. Yeah, not bad, huh? Here we got a sniffer egg. Got some rib armor trim. Now hopefully we can get the relic CD from this. First try? That'd be amazing. Definitely first try. That's definitely not a wooden hoe. Second try. What the heck? Oh, it's a hanging sign. I'm gonna use this sign to curse this landmark if I don't get anything good from here. Okay, so this is the part I'm assuming I need to dig down to. Check in, I need you. My brush is about to break. Stupid chicken. Oh, I forget what it's like to have swift sneak. Okay, I've brushed two things. I got seeds and a purple stained glass pane. And this looked round. Oh my god. Aaron Chiroff, relic. CD time complete. We now have all the CDs. No, I was not talking to you, Siri. Shut up. Well, that was fast. I bless this place with happiness. Where I found the relic CD. <laughs> I'm placing signs more often because I love coming across old signs in my world. Maybe I'll come across these in 10 years. Oh gosh, can you imagine that? 10 years from now, still playing on this world? I guess it's not that far-fetched. I'm about to reach 10 years in July. I need another brush. I don't know. Are you guys sure they didn't intend to put it this low in the ground? Because it just feels like natural for some reason. Like I'm, I feel like I'm excavating someone's house. There's a crafting table here. I actually like the idea of it being someone's house from a long time ago. I know it's more like a village or I don't really know what it's exactly supposed to be, but it feels more appropriate going underground like this. Shovel's almost broken, but not a bad haul. Look at all this. Look at all that copper. I got a bunch of skulk stuff too. I got a lot of this from those trail ruins. I'm gonna listen to this now. And I got a bunch of this stuff. I think they're gonna add a new CD in the newer update. I feel like they skip an update before they add a new CD, but all right, here we go. Wow. I'm glad it's music. I thought it was gonna be more of like a creepy one, similar to this and this. Man, look how old these maps are. Ooh, this is a cool CD. Uh oh, thank you. It's about time we get to some work here. I need to go repair some armor because my armor, well, I have none. I've also been starting to write a new book. It is called the Season 1 LP. This book is mainly to explain this world and everything about it and even everything about me. Only got 16 pages in so far, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to basically explain this world to the best of my ability so when download comes around, you're holding this book when you spawn in and well, you can just get a brief description about everything in this world. All right, Explorer Cap. 
Explore pants. Explore boots. And that doesn't need to be repaired. Cool. Oh, my turtle helmet. Oh, I want to wear it. I miss it. Yep, screw it. It's been a while since we wore a turtle helmet. So one thing I want to do first, as you know, last epi- well, how'd I do that? Last episode we made this, we turned this island into an infection. As you can see, I got most of it covered by barbed wire. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's go build, I think? Yeah, I'm gonna do it underground. We're gonna build a bunker here, and I'm gonna bring a couple scientists over, which is gonna be you guys, and they're going to be trying to find a way to contain this. And I also want to make another whiteboard schematic because I've been craving to do that and I, I got a good idea, so let's try this out. Guess I can, you know, give an update on what I'm building before I build it all because I was about to build it all. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I'm making a YouTube video. But I'm just doing a similar small bunker as you can see here. This is where the scientists are going to stay. An entrance. It's not done though. Um, so this is going to be the main lab where they're going to be working. I'm going to put their beds in here because I think I want to bring two villagers over here and I'm going to have a big whiteboard right here. I still got to go out and make my new whiteboard. Um, but I decided to do something a little bit different for these kind of labs since they're most likely going to be stuck here. We want to add like a little homey section. Just like, the, not homey, like, what's up homey? But like home section where they can come and relax and all that. Um, so got a nice little living room here, which I really like by the way. Just feels really nice to me. Um, got a few things, decorations and whatnot. And then I got a tunnel I'm about to work on, which leads to the main infection area, but it's just an east side entrance. I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna finish up this room and get that whiteboard set up. Oh my gosh. The whole time on that island, this is what I missed the most. I was just constantly thinking of newer maps I could make. Oh. Gosh, these are seriously some of my favorite things in this world. And I'm gonna make some more, but I'm gonna attempt the hard way now, which a lot of you recommended. So the hard way is making something big enough on the whiteboard where it covers like four maps or two maps, but seamlessly connects to make it look like one big drawing on here. And I think what I'm going to attempt is this island drawn out. And then I'm gonna put like X's in certain areas just to make it look like we are well, surveying parts of the island. So I need to go get a normal map of the island real quick. And I wonder why <laughs> my world file is getting so big. Probably because I have so many of these freaking maps all over the place. Hello. What do I have? What the? Wait a minute. Oh, did I leave them up here? Please tell me I did. What? Oh, they're over here. Phew. I forgot. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, the bunker is finished. It is ready to put some scientists in here. Um, I finished that island, what I was talking about. So I just spanned it across three maps, just slowly going into these two, but it actually looks pretty cool. It doesn't look like these where it's fit into one little square. I made it pretty simple, but as you can see, I tried to copy it as best as I can, but also make it look hand-drawn. The blue X's, for example, are marking the entrances into the bunker, and then this red circle's where that creature is, and then maybe they're gonna do an experiment out there. But yeah, I got a little computer, mouse, yeah? <laughs> Put a bed in here, so we're gonna have a scientist working in here, and then the other one is just gonna have a room in here, so he's just gonna be lounging. And then this is a pretty simple hallway. Now the fun part, bringing villagers over here. Okay, I got these two from my old iron farm. I hope you guys are ready. I was about to drag them all through this land and constantly have to place water to go up blocks and stuff, but I keep forgetting I have this river here, which just makes life so much easier because I didn't realize as well that island goes by this river. But there's one flaw in this river that I forgot about. This makes things so much easier though. Ugh. I love this lick right here, by the way, just barbed wire. Just makes this place look dangerous. And it's this, this is the problem. I absolutely love this bridge, but I completely forgot the idea that I use this for boats. So I will have to change it up. I'll just make it slightly arched up. This is an easy fix for now though. Oh, looky there, a drain. That goes into my bunker. Ah, perfect, right at the front door. 
Oh god, there we go. Welcome to your new home. I'll go get your student. The other guy is only an iron right here, and this guy's a diamond trade, so... I'll just pretend he's his student. You are going to take this lectern, okay? Good boy. Oh my gosh, I- okay. Get ready for Dallas to complain again. Why have they not fixed this in this game? Every single villager, no matter what profession it is, when they go up to their work table, they do this. <laughs> it is the most dumb looking thing I've ever seen. And that sentence sounded stupid, so you can just imagine how stupid it looks. You play Minecraft, I'm sure, but anyway, this would look cool. Watch, watch this. It makes me question if Mojang plays their own game and notices this, because I want him to actually walk up to this and look like he's using that computer. Uh, it just, it just irks me so much. I know it's not something to get that mad about, but it really is stupid looking. <laughs> you take that one, because I told you to. All right, and uh, I'm assuming they all will notice those beds. Oh yeah, I gotta name them. Okay, so the student is going to be Dr. Tom Howard, a recent donator, and this one is going to be Dr. Logan Wagner. I picked one kind of from the earlier days because I still have some very early donators. There he is, that I have just haven't picked yet, and they've probably been waiting forever. Like, maybe not on these first three and four pages. Don't worry. I'm going to be getting a lot of villagers out here pretty soon. It's going to be fun. And then picked Tom Howard. He's a recent donator. You know. Oh, you want... What do you have? You want this book? No. You know how much this book is worth? For how he sells name tags. So if I ever run out, I can come here. All right, that is that. Let's move on. I actually want to go over to the city, believe it or not. It's been a while. But before we go to the city, I've been kind of being like a, a nostalgia nut again. And kind of a book nut. There was a time not too long ago around episode three or four. Oh, wait. <laughs> It was just a video I titled The Best Feeling in Minecraft where I was hunting down all of my oldest items in Minecraft. A lot of you might have not seen it. Uh, I didn't upload it as a Let's Play. It was kind of a random video. But I had a book called Antique Tools and Armor and I've been looking everywhere for it. What did I do with that book? It's driving me nuts. Oh, wait. I forgot I have a filing cabinet over here. Is it here? Oh, there they are. Ooh, Trials of the Histone. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one took a while to make. If you guys remember this episode, this was a fun episode. Okay, I don't want these down here because I'm trying to actually make a proper bookshelf to store all this. Here it is. Okay, so you can see I was going crazy tracking down just the earliest things I've had. Minesweeper, still in use. <laughs> okay, glad. I'm glad I didn't lose this book. Oh boy, here I am hunting down these pieces again. First enchanted diamond boots. Okay, so I know those are in the museum right now. Then I have one here. First diamond enchanted helmet. Fire protection for Aqua 1. And I think that's why this chest is still here. It's because I kept this in here because I was still somewhat investigating it. it. Has the same enchants, but Unbreaking 3 on it. And I got a feeling I might have thrown a book on it with Unbreaking 3. So this might be my first enchanted diamond helmet. And I know, none of this matters really, but it matters to me because this world is approaching 10 years old and that's why I have a museum, to keep track of these sorts of things. Because for all we know, this world might still be around 10 years from now and I'll be thanking myself that I kept track of everything. What are we gonna do? Go to the city? Ah, uh, I got distracted. <laughs> might have to do that next episode. Ah, here it is. First set. No one looking? It's my museum anyway. Oh, it feels like I'm actually disturbing, like, some very <laughs> valuable things. I want to put them on. Whee! Call me crazy all you want, but I'm having fun with this. This right here is a <laughs> I chanted this in, like, episode 108 or something. I just use it as filler. But I'm trying to find, like, really old stuff here. And I think this chest plate... I know, I'm sounding a little crazy here is one that I used for a long time in the earlier episodes, but there was a moment where I came through all these chests and used the grinder to disenchant everything to get XP. I think I disenchanted that. I'll just leave that stuff in there. I don't have to get that in detail. Okay, I'm losing my mind a little bit. I'm gonna go back up top. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, soon we're gonna have students in here. I need to fix this. What even? Oh, okay, so I used to use the base version 
of the ocean map that wasn't locked, so all of these got updated. Whoopsie daisy, but this isn't supposed to be a big LCD screen. This should be a big whiteboard. Even though it's a white wall, I wonder if it would still look... Yeah, it sticks out a bit. Oh my gosh, look at all these maps. I'm just so overwhelmed, but I love it so much. That's an equation that belongs in here. Hello? Didn't I put people in here at one point? They just disappeared. That looks like classroom material. So does that one. All of these look like classroom material. <laughs> we could be teaching about how to make certain potions. I also just got done making a new one, by the way. Um, ooh, this could go up there too. Eh, you can go right there. And it is these ones right here. So I'm actually taking information from my journal. Ignore my doodle down there. I know it's a masterpiece. But uh, there's certain pages in my journal that leads to coordinates. And these ones are special because, of course, I have one that says treasure not found, an excavated site, and books here. Now, I have not actually been to these. I don't think. I think I might have been to the top one and still can't find it. But maybe one day I'll come across a whiteboard and see that. I'm going to put a whiteboard in my house. Actually, let's go do that. And since I'm not always in my journal, walking past it and seeing my writings like this, I think would really help and remembering this stuff. Do you guys do this by the way, or is this too much work? Let me know, like, is this too much work for you to create this 16,000 block layer of snow and then do pixel art on top of it? Because the end result is just so cool, but I don't see anyone else in the Minecraft community doing this. Oh, this can't be happening right now. No, I just spent the past half hour catching up on all my signs in here. And a creeper walked in and blew up while I was in a book. Oh uh, yeah, just creepers. And it messed up these signs. So I forgot what those are, so I'm gonna have to go back and figure out what those are. But oh no, no, no. It blew up this lectern. The first book with all the original donos in it. It blew that up too. And guess what? The lectern dropped on the ground. And the book got deleted from this world. How? Like, just how? How is something like that overlooked? Oh my gosh, that's just so saddening. All the original first donators are just gone, just like that. Anyway, all the people are caught up on the signs on the walls here. Um, over here too, but I think I, yeah, I lost three right here. I can figure that out. I need to come home to calm down. Duh, so much information lost. It's the worst. But it happens. It's Minecraft. Things happen. I just read a tweet today explaining how they think keep inventory somewhat ruins the game. And I had to agree. I know a lot of people don't like playing with keep inventory, but it just, it ruins the game for the true gamer where, you know, there's always risk involved with what you're about to do. You're about to go down into the ancient city. Well, you could simply put a bed nearby and just go and loot like crazy. And if the warden kills you, well, you just spawn with all your stuff nearby. That's how I look at it. It would be a lot less rewarding with keep inventory on, and instances like that, uh, there's always a risk that maybe something will be blown up that's very valuable. That's just the way the game works. I don't know if I'm gonna like this whiteboard here. That's where I put it. Um, it looks a little strange. I don't know if I'll keep it there. I'm gonna go make some more whiteboards here pretty soon because I'm loving it right now, but I'm gonna do more aren't so centered, as you can see. You can tell each of those are in their own, their own respective squares. So I should probably do more, maybe like up in the corners down here a little bit. That would probably make it look better. I'm gonna do that in between episodes though. Because I notice I get a lot of my ideas when I'm just playing Minecraft by myself and not recording. Today's comment question is from Lind Lindel Indique. Are you more excited for Skyrim 6 or GTA 6? Well, if there was gonna be a Skyrim 6, that's probably like 50, 50 years away, 50, 60 years away, because they still gotta make Skyrim 2, 3, 4, See what I'm getting at? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it's actually called, of course, the Elder Scrolls. It's just the fifth installment of Elder Scrolls is called Skyrim. Simple mistake. Uh, but yeah, Elder Scrolls 6 or GTA 6? Oh God, that's such a hard question because they're about to throw the first trailer out of GTA 6 on the 5th, which is really exciting because that's like a few days before my birthday. My birthday's on December 8th, by the way. So I'm gonna be 28. Oh God. I'm approaching 30, but no, no, no. I still have two whole years until I'm 30. <laughs> Since we know GTA 6 is coming out first, I have to say I'm a little more excited for that. But, oh man. Gosh, the things I would do though to experience Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, 
That's not going to be out until another three to four years. That is truly a really tough question, but as of right now where I stand, I'm more excited for GTA 6 because it is coming out sooner, but oh man, they're a real close tie. But let's thank some donors, of course. Like I said, I got... Wait. Um... Okay, yeah. These ones were older, so these weren't the ones I just placed, but I did just place Gillian, two Zach plants up there, and then Charles Brown, and then all of these right here. Pathfinder, Rexford, Ryan, Isaac, Carson, Dakota, Blake, Jason, Jake, and da Adam Dunmar. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all for your support on the island, and thank you to these recent donors, T-Lock, Diamond Sally, Charles Brown again, Nate Designs, Joseph Markey, and that's all. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Look how mysterious Bob looks. I am going to end it here. I got some more stuff to do. I gotta head to the gym, get a workout in, and come back and make some more whiteboards. Next episode, we're going straight to the city because I miss it so, so much. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.